Okay, 3.1, exploring polynomial functions. So what we're looking at here is a fun, let's look at this. f at x equals 5x to the 5 minus 6x to the 4 plus 4x minus 7. This is an example of a polynomial function. Now, in any polynomial expression, now let's look at the word expression. What you see underlined in black over here, this is the expression. So an expression does not have an equal sign to it. It would just be this, this here. In any polynomial expression, the exponents on the variable must be whole numbers. A polynomial function, and that's the whole thing right there underlined in red, is any function that contains a polynomial expression in one variable. So the variable here is we're looking at x with different powers or different exponents. The degree of the function is the highest exponent in the expression. For example, in the function f at x, it has a degree of 5 because we take all, looking at all of these, it would be the highest power. And this, in this case, is the highest exponent, which is 5. So it's a degree of 5. Now, the nth finite differences of a polynomial function of degree n is constant. What that means is we learned earlier on about uh, in grade 10 you learned about that a linear function has first diff that in grade 9 you learn linear function the first differences are the same. In grade 10 you learn that in a quadratic function the second differences are the same. Well what you go on move on from there it means that any polynomial function so for example a linear function has degree 1 so the first differences are the same. So linear function, the delta y values are constant, provided obviously that the x values go in a pattern, the delta y values are constant. That's your first difference. In a quadratic, the delta delta y values are constant. So here what we're looking at is a quadratic, it's the second differences are the same. So two deltas, all right? And a cubic, it'll be delta, delta, delta y values are constant. So what that means is that in any of these, you're going to have different, the number of deltas it takes to get a constant value indicates the degree of the polynomial. Now the domain of a polynomial function is always the following. X belongs to real. That is true for every polynomial function. Now the range may be y belongs to real if it's an odd degree function or have an upper or lower bound if it's an even uh, degree function. The graphs of polynomial functions do not have any asymptotes. So you will never have an asymptote in a polynomial function. Now the graphs of different polynomial functions are here. A degree of zero is a horizontal line. That has a degree of zero. A degree of one is a slanted line, so it has some sort of slope. A quadratic has a degree of two, cubic has a degree of three, quartic a degree of four, and quintic a degree of five. So one more time again, horizontal line has a degree of zero, so it would x to the power zero, so a constant value is always horizontal. So y equals 5, y equals 4, those are all horizontal lines. Then here you have a degree of 1 is a linear function, so y equals, I don't know, 3x plus 2 could be something like this. Then there's a degree 2, which is a quadratic, that's basically y equals x squared, anything with an x squared as the highest is the degree 2. Degree 3, guys, you're used to having it in back in grade 11, we looked at great uh, cubic functions that went like this, but this is more typical of a cubic function, and we're going to talk more about these type of cubic functions in this course. So we got a degree 3, which is a cubic, and then looking over here, degree 4, we have a quartic. Hmm, interesting about this one. We'll find out more about that. And degree 5, you got some weird things going on here but definitely a degree five is called a quintic. And then after that, we pretty much don't name anything past that point. We just say degree six and so on. All right, next. Now, notes to remember. 
So, important. When looking at graphs, polynomials have a domain, that's the same for all of them, and a range, which is y belongs to real if it's an odd degree function. So odd degree meaning odd numbered degree, or it has an upper or lower bound. So what these are, this L and the U, represent the y values are either greater than or equal to the lowest bound, the lowest number it reaches, or y is less than or equal to u, which is the upper bound. What that means is that, for example, think about quadratics. They have will have either a lower or upper bound. Those are polynomials, whereas a linear function would have this kind of range, and a cubic would also have this kind of range. So we're going to look at those type of examples a little bit later on. Next, when looking at equations, polynomials have one variable with a whole number i.e. no exponents will have fractions or rational numbers. So there are no fractional or rational exponents. Next, when looking at tables of values, polynomials have a finite number of differences. Okay, so provided that the delta x is in order, the delta y, the delta delta y, the triple delta y basically will eventually stop at the number of degrees, uh, at the degree value of the polynomial function. All right, so that's the end of 3.1, folks. Um, and you can go ahead and do the homework because you have the idea behind everything. Take care. Good night.